I don't think this is live now, but I'm not sure. Maybe. Let's take a look. Privacy private. Hmm. There we go. I think that's a bit better. It's so strange. Stream is healthy. Analytics. Yeah, oh, this is cool. I see. So, let's get the work done. Um. So. What I'm working on is this rollerball thing. Uh, the way it's supposed to work is it rolls towards your, the target then, right? Uh, let's see here, it's over here. Uh, so I'm currently working on the model. So it uses physics to roll towards the target. Uh, and if it rolls past the target, it's supposed to, you know, look at that, like switch direction and try to find a uh, path back to the target. Uh, it's not really working as it should currently though, uh, but I needed a break from making the AI, so uh, let's go ahead and... Um, wait, I wonder if we even should be in this category now that I'm thinking of it. Maybe it's actually like creative or something. I don't know what what count this is. I'm just gonna count it as gaming. Can I put uh, Unreal Engine? Unreal Engine. <laughs> no, <laughs> I cannot. How to unstyle film and film and animation, entertainment, non-profits, news, politics, pets, peoples, and blogs. Jeez, there's so many science and technology. It's not. It's I don't know. Let's just put this as entertainment, I guess. That'll that'll do. <laughs> uh, let's see. What if we do something like this? But we only want to do it in this angle, maybe. Uh, we can. Uh, oh. Nah, nah. I don't like that. 
We could actually probably make something like that over here though. Like so. And, uh, and then we do like that, maybe. Does that look? I think if we just go ahead and make these edges hard. But mm, maybe, yep, I think that's a good way to do it first. We wanna mm -mm, scale those right. We can't do that. Mm. Medium point. What happens if we scale it like that? S X zero. Oh, S X nine. Yeah. Oh. S. Uh, oh lord. S X zero. What's that gonna do? That does that S Y zero. That does that S X zero. That is like the closest. Um, Cause it wanted to align with its nearest neighbor's height. So we want those to be like, like what if we do, can we enable this and do X? Put it in this mode and we want to have it snap to vertex G C good Lord. Yeah, that doesn't work because then I'll need to, you know, move these ones individually and I guess, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Actually, why am I doing it like this? This is also dumb. When what we can do is actually this. <laughs> there we go. And now I can. There we go. Then I can extrude this. Like so. And just scale that one in. That way we get quite neat topology, I think. And then I should be able to pick out these lines and mark those as sharp. That way we, oh, yeah, that looks pretty neat actually. Uh, then I only need to do with this, this and this and mark those as sharp like so. Neato. Hmm. What if we dissolve this edge? It's way cleaner. Yeah. Because I was thinking about putting like rockets on the side that pr uh, propels it forward. I'm not sure if that's a good way of doing it though, but maybe, maybe. Yeah. So what I'm thinking here is if we need, yeah, I mean, that makes sense, right? Cause there's going to be something rotating. Around this little guy. Let's uh, not fuck with that one right now though. Let's just leave that be for this moment. Uh, but I like this shape at least. Let's go ahead and throw this shape into Unreal and just see if this uh, is something that we wanna, if this isn't, you know, if this is the way that we want to keep going. We want armature and mesh. Yeah, let's just call it cylinder, that's fine. Um, three. Where do we put this? We put this in meshes. Say it's a skeletal mesh. 
Do we? I don't think this one needs to be a skeletal mesh actually, so um, let's just import it. How big is this? Quite large. Yeah, that's very large. Um, we might have to make that smaller. We could probably make this like. If we do this and do 0 0.5. Oof. Uh, enable clipping. 0 0.5. And then we take all of this and just move it closer to the center. I'm not even sure if 0 0.5 is enough because that'll still make it kind of big because what I want to have it do is rotate the inside so we're gonna have to separate this later if this here Needs to be separate, or maybe we don't. Sep yeah, no, we want to separate this. We want to have this thing here in the middle um, be its own shape, and we want to have some end caps that will look cool. Either we do it with end caps, or we do it with uh, some sort of I don't know, like it will either do it with like end caps, or we do it with uh, what's it called? Uh, like some ro some ro uh, rocket propellers or something like that. Maybe we could even do uh, some shit like uh, let's see here. What's the command? Like so and like so. Move this out here. Get lowered. Let's say we put this here or something like that. We could maybe you know maybe we could do something like this. Cause the way that I I, I want this to be a uh like it to have oh yeah we could do pipes and stuff hell yeah actually that would make it all right let's say we have um hell yeah let's see how do we make curves in this scene where's the curve, curve. yeah bezier 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 i don't know um so let's say we have this here like so and pull this one up and back and rotate it like this and we want to have this one rotated like something like that maybe now we want to have this one go like that have this one go yeah, okay. GX Yeah no, no no no. Come on. Oh, this is difficult. I can't. Uh, <laughs> Jeez. Uh, how do I do this? No. Let's let's say we have it like that, and we oh, and now we can now we can do it like that and pull this one up. Actually, let's pull it over here. And this one up. Pull the whole thing like back over here. We want to make this one smaller too. There we go. And now we can actually just do like this. Uh, 
Actually, maybe we want to have it go out here. Oh, like out here or something like that. Have it, let's pull this one up and do like so. Pull this one up a bit more. Can I, how do I add more points? Either way, we can maybe, maybe we just do like that. And let's, how do we sweep this? Mm, I know there's something that's supposed to like sweep. Ugh, that's like coffee was cold. Not nice, not nice. It's not solidify. Let's take a look. Uh, sweep, oh. Uh, blender, sweep along curve. If only I did this in uh, Houdini instead, this would be so much faster. Um, let's see. Curve properties, you can use a curve to define cross section, blah, 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 blah. That's not what I want though. View, I do not, no. How do I get rid of this? That was a problem, that's a mistake. Um, Blender basic sweep along curve, here we go. Yeah, we're in edit mode. Extrude faces along normals, but that's not what I want to do. Sweeping cross section along path. But these are so long. Jeez, man. What the. Uh, oh, okay. oh, nice. There we go. There we, there we go. That's also a thing that I wonder if I'd be able to do. Let's make this one smaller. This one go over here. And we can make it go over here a little bit and a little closer to here. We can then take this one, make it way, way, way smaller. Uh, pull this one. Wait, what is its shape? That's oh, looking very strange. Like that, yep. Better, much better. So this is the way we're gonna have exhausts kind of go then. Um, dude, it's pissing me off that I can't uh, just uh, sweep this shit. Shrink wrap, simple deform, lattice hook, curve cast, armature, generate. It, it would make sense, right, that we need to generate something along the curve, but that's not really what it's doing. Can I have any uh, chat here? YouTube chat, or oh, one's working. Chat will appear. What do you mean? <laughs> I, uh, come on. Refresh. Fresh. Fresh. It's very strange. I'm trying to, you know, have see my chat, but it's not really allowing me that's kind of annoying uh let's just put you guys down here instead that's better the problem is like because i don't know if it's picking up all the like how much noise it's picking up because it seems to me that you can't really hear the music like at all now you can like here it is, yeah, a little bit. There we go. Like mine is now it's like minus thirty decibels.
I have no idea if you can hear this like at all, but may may maybe that's fine. Maybe this is good. Hopefully this is good. Uh, I don't know though, but you'll have to let me know if if it isn't. Um, Project shape a long path under how to extrude along a curve in Blender. That's a minute long video mesh. As it takes a busier curve and a plane. This is very strange. So, but what if I want to do it like this? Let's say we take this one and we take a circle, right? And let's make it smaller and rotate it along X 90 degree. Jeez. Rotate it along X 90. Along Y 90 degrees. There we go. Uh, we move it. We want to move it in global space. Jeez, man. And we want to have it way smaller, like that, maybe. And then we move it over here, right? Let's say we do that. Uh, I don't want to see uh, this one. Okay, what does it do now? What? What? Wait. Does it click? Why do why do they make it this hard? <laughs> it shouldn't be this hard. Uh, there should just be triangulate. Na, na, na. Taper object. Circle. Can I, how do I d detach this? I don't remember. Parent, I wanna have it like, set parent to, uh, ba -ba -ba. we wanna have it detached. Let's join. It's the, it's the opposite we want. Maybe mesh. <sighs> Vertex view. Fuck, how do I do that? Man, split selection. Separate selection. There we go. Take this one and that circle. That's which one is the what? Okay. This one and we type a taper. Okay. Uh, sweep profile along a path. So, yeah, so he creates the path. Okay, let's say we take Circle, make smooth, make smooth, something like that. 
and then he goes object convert the curve right yeah and then i can go into this one object object this one there we go that's exactly what we wanted perfect 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 and I can put you guys up here again so I can see everything. Yep, looks good. And then I should be able to just, you know, pull this one back. And um, back. What am I doing? Uh, we can just move it along the X2. I wanna pull this one down. Maybe. We could just move this whole thing a little further in. Like that. And uh, now the question is do we want it? To, oh, what? Factory. Dude, that's also pretty cool. Start and end. Do we want this to taper? What? No, not not like that. Uh, stop. What did I just do? Jeez. Did this one? No, this one. There we go. <laughs> Resolution. EU. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want it to be like to. Um, Generally, this looks good. Does it provide geometry on the inside or is this just outside geometry? Let's put this to eight maybe. Uh, I'd wonder if we could have this one sweep with different scale along the curve uh if you know what i mean like we could potentially mm, resolution and segments but that's not really what we're taper radius multiply taper object uh like fuck, i don't know Add. All right, like, what the fuck does this mean? Oh, and there it adds, and then we can do map taper. If we do multiply, it's gonna do that. Determine how effect radius, and if we override, it does literally nothing. Fill caps, we want that, uh, obviously. Uh, so what if I do this? Copy and paste, move down. This one I don't think I need, but I can go in here and pick the same circle. Yes, sir. Or actually, that's not what I want to do. Maybe we could actually do this in a little uh, bit of a cool way
I don't like this one. It's not turning out that good. Pull this one back here instead. Yeah, but it looks good when they're like overlapping a bit, a bit, right? But uh, I don't know about this one. So there we go. That, lo that looks pretty good. Let's take this one, pull it back. Pull it back here. Because it's almost like a mechanic organic shape, which is very strange. Um, I mean, it's fine, but it looks a little strange, I must admit. look pretty cool I guess we just need to have a few more I'm not so sure about this one though it really just makes it look like some fucking organs or something <laughs> like I don't, uh, I don't know uh, let's move it over here instead like that maybe yeah that's actually better but um, I think this one can Yeah, this does actually look better. Like, even though it's a little strange. Uh, yeah, this, this looks pretty good, actually. Uh, I'd like to have, like, a few more. Maybe uh, one going up from here and go down. Probably, yeah. This one up here, maybe. I'd like to see how much geometry this actually is, though. Because there is like. Because there might be like a bunch of geometry here. And that wouldn't be, you know, great. I like this. I do actually really like this. Um, I 
And then I'd like to, you know, texture this, but don't really have time for that right now. I don't have tools for that right now. I haven't purchased uh, Substance Painter yet. I'm gonna have to get on that a little later. Let's see. Uh, and if we now... Yeah, right. Uh, let's export this little guy. One more time. There we go. Now we should be able to just reimport this, I think. Yeah, that's better. It's still a little large though, but... Uh... Let's actually go ahead and get rid of this. Can we not set it to use some other, uh, whatever, let's see, that's a good size, that's a good size, yep, yeah, I like that. So let's now hop into the roller mesh thing, and the roller AI, this little guy, take the mesh component, set that to whatever, I just imported what was called, like cylinder or whatever. No, it was called enemy or something. Here we go. Let's see which way. Uh, it's not rolling the right way. <laughs> uh, bye bye. Which way, which way is forward in Unreal? Oh, just get an arrow. Red is forward, okay. Just re-import. There we are. Compile now. Should be rolling towards me. Yeah. It does, however, look very funky. <laughs> what the heck? It's not the mesh. I mean, it's the sphere. It's the sphere. It's this guy. Let's go ahead and pull that down and... It's not centered? No way. Collision comp. Is this not centered? What the fuck is going on? I don't think, is the collision, not the collider is centered. Is this one not centered? Collision comp, let's see. Let's say this is the size we want, maybe. This one isn't centered. Uh, set origin, origin to geometry toward, oh, hello. Uh, let's apply this is the one geometry to origin 
Already in the center of mass. What? What are you doing? Origin to 3D cursor. Geometry to origin. There we go. Now we gotta export it once more. This should be the final one. Like that. Uh, re import. Enemy roller. Collision comp. Where is you at, my guy? It's more like a question of how much of the floor do we want it to touch? Because we could just do like that, probably. Uh, uh, that that looks really good. I, oh, I love this. <laughs> yes. Hell yeah! Look at him go. Look at him go. Did imagine some gas pipes sticking out there, and we could have uh, the sides not roll, and just have the centerpiece roll. Uh, we could have some, uh, what's it called? Like gasoline fuel, or no, like, yeah, like gas fumes. Gas, ga gas, yeah, that would be so cool. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. How much is substance again? <laughs> uh, substance, 3D. Painter is the one that I need. I think it's like 30 bucks a month. Because um, I don't want to have every single tool, I just want uh, like the smaller, the smaller license. Um, that's the collection, that's not what I want. I want, let's see, if I press buy now. Oh, it's like 20 bucks a month. That's not even, that's really not close to what I thought it would be. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to do a little uh, calculation here. So it's like 190. How much was it? 191 times 12. How much is that? 2,292. So either I pay that over the over one year, or I pay 2,100. Right now, and I have the software for a year. I'm uncertain as to which one is uh, as to which one I should do, but hey, whatever. This little guy though. There you go. Boom. Because okay, if we do this, let's take a look at the roller. If we hop in here, apply radial damage.
Let's go up and move this away a bit. We don't want to have uh, this thing. Uh, okay, I see. Let's just have it do 25 damage. Because then it should eventually kill me. If it rolls through me like four times, because I have 100 HP currently. No? Very strange. Uh, don't I do that in the... Um, maybe I actually removed that when I tried to... Maybe I did, fuck. That'd be, that'll be really annoying if I actually did that. Um, let's see. Let's max health, take damage. That is the damage event, I think. Like that, that is the normal damage event, so that should be called quite certain yeah because that's the thing we override so that event should be triggered let's uh, just make sure we log attempt warning Now it should log when I take damage. Hopefully it does. It did. It did. It did log. So it should say uh, damaged 25. So it, I do take 25 damage. Uh, maybe maybe I just don't do anything when I have when. I, oh yeah, I just don't do anything. I think. Um, that's okay. Okay, so I, I do actually die. That's great. Um, I don't have to worry about that right now, because the problem we currently have is that the little guy, this guy, and he also does that thing way too much. It really shouldn't be looking like every single frame, because that's a bit too often, I think. Because so right, right there, that, that, that makes sense. They did it correctly, because now it should like turn around snappy, because otherwise it does that, but if it rolls over there, it's going to do snappy, yeah. So then it applies the force in the other direction, and it does a slow turn towards me, and that is how it's supposed to work, because when it turns like that, it's not snappy enough. Okay, so let's see here. It's going to roll, and it's going to do like a... Yeah, look at that. And that's because we get the impulse right here. We add, we do this add impulse. But for some reason, it only does it on in one direction and not in the other, which is very strange. Uh, maybe I need to do. Angle. Angle minus equals 180. That way we can also get negative. So if angle is larger than 30 or uh, angle is less than negative 30, it's a 60 degree range. Then we're yeah, then it's facing the wrong direction. So then it should, it's doing some really strange stuff, because it's like, okay, I can see what it's trying to do, because it's trying to reach me, but it can't really do it. And now here he's searching, and he found me, and he attacks. 
and let's set this to stand over here instead. Because it's like I'm standing still and I can't really find my position. Uh, which is a problem. Because I do the large query, which is... Uh, search is a large area, right? So let's take the little testing palm we have. And do the large search. Why are you not uh, updating? Hello, buddy. You should be... Uh, <laughs> show me the thing. Why are you not uh, showing me the thing? That's very annoying. Single best item. Hello? Come on, what is this? This shouldn't, you know, that shouldn't do, yeah. Why are you not showing me the thing? Large search. Find player then? Okay, what? Large search. Is large search not functioning? That exists. Maybe I shouldn't do with path exists. Maybe I should do. Hmm. Do with trace. Trace to query on visibility. Trace to play context on visibility. And that one should filter. It's still not doing anything. Find flying position. That one's also working. Find player, find next point. Uh, it's tracing, but it's not doing properly. What if we do this? Should it, does it update? Nah. Player context, we don't want it to be player context, we want it to be... Oh, what did I do? We want this to be environment querier. There we go, there we... That might actually have been the problem then. Uh, then we can take this away and we can do path finding and we put that on top. And we want to do it to player context. Right. Yeah, so now it should be like it does that, that's a really large searching area. We could also we could make it even larger actually. We can make it like five thousand. Uh, and just have these at like five hundred increments instead. Yeah, so that, that yeah, that's a that's a lot of searches though. Let's put these at like seven hundred, because we know we, we just need to get within the ballpark of the player. That's too many. Thousand. Yeah, that's better. So what is he gonna do? Yeah, so now he hasn't, he hasn't found me. And if I walk over here, he, see, he sees me, he rolls towards me, he rolls away, he's trying to find a path. He's found an approximate path. But it's still not, uh, you know, like close enough. Here he's found me again. He's trying to find a good path. Or he's trying to like roll in a good way, but he just doesn't do it. It's very bad. No, we don't need to have, uh, we don't need to print it with velocity. What does it do? Oh my. Here he does large search, and here he does find next point, which is... Let's find next point two again. Checks if path exists, if there is a visibility trace. How large is this? That's a very small grid. Let's put this 1500 and put these. Yeah, that's fine actually. Let's do find next point. Did I just lag? 
this might be too many. <laughs> uh, it's pretty sub to 200. Huh? Actually, we need to, when in here, we don't want to run a query here. We, we want to have it, if it can see the target, it needs to be a new task. Wait, what does the add force do? Yeah, it sets that, okay. So what I need to do then is I need to, when we're here, I just need it to, because it can see the player, it's that close. We just need it to, uh, BTT. We just need to chase player, which is just uh, it should be in there though. Because what I now can do is override, let's see, execute AI. How do I get that shit in the, in here, we get the target location. Right. Because then what we want to do is actually in the set target we want to get the oh, no yeah we want we want to set the blackboard value set blackboard value as vector okay. Uh, the key, we want to make this make, actually we want to send in a key, backboard key, target, like so, and then we get the location right, which should just be, since we're visible, it should just be Blackboard. Wait. Yeah, so what we wanted to do is, because here we only use the blackboard value, so we get the blackboard value. So we get just get the blackboard value. So friggin' strange hearing myself. <laughs> okay. Um, 
let's see here. So what we want to do is we want to get the BTT task, set target, uh, and this one has a key, and that key needs to be the target location, because that's what we're going to chase. Uh, how do I get that one though? Because I wanted to... I wanted to... Because hmm. I need to get to control... Because I get that in here. This we don't need. And I don't think target actor is necessary for this either. It's really just that we need to get the actor location like so. Hello? There it is there. There we go. Like so. And this one we can just remove. But I'm not sure we want to do that though. Maybe not. Let's take a look. What will you do, buddy? Does he chase me? Is he chasing me? Oh yeah, but it's not updating, right. So target location, I need to get the... Blackboard, blackboard value... But that doesn't matter because I'm setting it already. Like when I'm in here, then it's updating that value, target location, which is present here, called target location. And I set it the value as vector and this is the blackboard, which is its own blackboard. Right. So then I should even have to do this. One would assume, right? But whatever, let's just make literal make literal here. Uh, and we try to do it the bad way. Because this feels like I'm just repeating myself. This should not be how we're doing this. And then we do finish execution or whatever. Uh, and it's a success share or whatever. Oh. What will you do now? You'll try to do that. You can't see me. You're not updating me at all. Why though? Very, very strange. Oh, wait, no, 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 I forgot that's what we're using that for. So we do actually need to do that. We do actually need to use the... Update target key. Yeah, I forgot about that, I was dumb. That was stupid. Yeah, because now it finds me... It lost sight of me, but now I'm... Buddy? What are you doing? Yeah. That's the problem, it doesn't update. Ah. Because if I run the EQS, then that's gonna be a problem because it's gonna. I mean, I could do fine player probably. But just set the target location or whatever. What will you do then, buddy? And if I go into you here, 
Yeah, you're not gonna chase me. But if I do find next point, and I set the target location, then you should be fine with it, right? Yeah. So now you know that you want to chase me. You're trying really, really hard <laughs> to do so. Maybe if I just forego physics and try to do it by myself. Either way. Um, let's see. In the, on the enemy roller, we want to do in the begin play. Niagara particle system. I want that to be an explosion, simple explosion. Play. Because sure, we don't want this to play on start. Auto activate, no. And then we can do activate. Yeah, okay, buddy. Whatever. Activate, reset. No. Because you should only explode once. And we want this to. Niagara finish or whatever it's called. Because I think we can do on finish. I'm done. Finish. Just do this, um, and that's a very ugly effect. We want to have the same one uh, that I'm the one that I made earlier. The tentacles are kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I like the tentacles. <laughs> uh, let's see here. <laughs> so okay, uh, that's better. Uh, then we got the roller, and we just. Uh, Now it should do that for me, uh, or for it and all children, right? That's a problem though. Uh, can I exclude some things? <laughs> no, probably not. Uh, what we just want to do is this instead. Okay. Let's make an on-death thing. Uh, that we can do in base enemy, and we just do um, virtual void on death. There we go, and that should also be a U function. Actually, we don't have to define it as a U function. Uh, and then we go in here where we have the. Yep, here we go. U function. Virtual void on death override. And we can make this a blueprint native events. Uh, this way, generate that definition, and we just do that. 
reload this. Build failed. No. Must be non virtual. Okay, is this one virtual? It is not. How do we fix this? Add virtual specifier. Actually, maybe we could just do, uh, let's do blueprint implementable event. That's better. Blueprint implement the blueprint native event on real. What? Okay. What? Let's go ahead and. Get, if we get rid of this, so what are you gonna say? And ugh. if we do. Blueprint, there must be a internal use only authority, pure, uh, getter, blueprint, this function is designed to be overridden by blueprint, but also has to, okay, but we can just, uh, uh, open here and make this one a blueprint. You function But I don't want it to be <laughs> Equals delete What are <laughs> Like what? Understand. Okay. Let's see. Add a pure specifier to a virtual function. No. Blueprint implementable event then. Jeez, man. What are you saying in here? No, you don't like that. I see. Okay, let's see what are you gonna what are you gonna say about this? I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't like that. I still get that though. <laughs> Do I have one death here? Okay, I do. Okay. down here instead so this is what this is what will happen when the sphere dies so we'll need to um, oh, I, did, I haven't even given this to health health right do I even have that on the player? <laughs> Set max health. I think it might... Yeah, okay, I have it on the player, but it's using some other things. It's just using the normal things, okay. Uh, right. <laughs> I 
the defaults only. Category. Is stats. Max health. Uh, float health. Mm, max health. Perfect. And this one should also have the take damage thing, but I think it already does, probably. Um, but let's see here. So we can start by setting the max health equals to, I say, I don't know what's good for this, like 50 something. And we can put the health equals max health. Health on the begin play. The root implementation of that. We should also, from the player character, get uh, this thing. It's also very, very important. So it allows it to take damage. Uh, let's see. So if we now go in here, we should be able to pretty much just take everything. No, not from the combat component we want. It. It's in the player. Uh, in the take damage, we should just be able to do this. And do that. Like for instance here, no, not on on death, but here we want to check that as tag as tag player branch. If it does place on that location, then the, then all of this should happen down here actually. This is like our little on the 13, and then we do uh, down, uh, death on death. Death. <laughs> how do I how do I trigger events again? <laughs> Event. Ah. <laughs> uh, we wanna send gameplay event. This one used to trigger an ability on the actor question.
Thank you.